तो चले थे दोस्त बन monkey no <laughs> don't call it monkey but i think we should uh, right now for for now uh, since we are here right now uh, first of feb 2024 you can call me taj yes golden leader taj how are you <laughs> sir how are you doing i'm very very good still flying <laughs> i never <laughs> never landed only i'm still flying only It's awesome. Feels Landed on the other side of the border, came back. Yeah, came back. You know, how it happens. <laughs> and in yeah, such a yeah. manner, with all the hero look, with all the guns in hand, while you were on helicopter, what a scene, Karan. Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, it, it's like you know, you kind of uh, go through your own memories of your uh, childhood or or your memories of you growing up, and you see that one scene. And you're like, hey, I won't do that, man. When I grow up, <laughs> this was one of those things, and it, I don't know, it wasn't. I think it was all, always in Sid's head, but he never told me about it. So, hmm. like, he never told me. He, he never told me that I'll be using that particular gun. So, <laughs> I think he never told me because I never stopped talking about it. So, he knows me very well. That would be na, be na, dikhana, dikhana ek baar. So, yeah, that's. That was amazing. I'm so happy about. So, how much Sartaj? How much Sartaj are you in your real life? Because Sartaj is a fun and very outgoing kind of a boy with a very good equation with his wife. Very funny also. Are you like that in real life also? Well, let's see. I have a very good equation with my wife. Uh, I am funny. I think most of the times. Uh, I do have <laughs> very very bad, pathetic jokes to crack most of the times. Uh, but yeah, Sir Taj is—it's his—he's very light, you know. He doesn't have any baggage. He doesn't have any uh, like heavy things kind of uh, with him. He—he he just is the way he is. There's nothing. The way you see it is the way you get it, and what you see is what you get. I'm—I'm uh, I'm a little layered as a person, so <laughs> I can be different on different days. Like uh, okay, my wife would say many things to that, so I'm not getting into that. <laughs> Amazing! And we saw that there was a special screening for the IEF officials here in the Delhi. You came to Delhi, and uh, also apart from that, there was a special screening in Mumbai also. What were the reactions? Because I saw this specific video online where you were greeting your fans. They were so excited to see you. They really applauded your performance as well. How was the feeling, Karan? It the it was like I think in Delhi when uh, they they showed it to the Air Force people, they apparently they gave us a standing ovation and they said that it was the best film ever. <laughs> so I mean, just them saying that me, means so much because you know the kind of effort we put in is not like one percent of what they do, man. Like to be hmm. born uh, with a heart that. says that you know i'm ready to give my life for my country at any second any time because we stayed with those we stayed with the air force uh, officers at the air force base in days for the air force schedule and we lived there with them uh, in their not in their homes but in like in the facility that they stay in uh, ate in their mess uh, we never didn't stay in any hotels or anything uh, or the whole cast everyone uh, oh Yeah, like normally when we go for a, an outdoor, we always stay at a really nice hotel and stuff like that. But this time, we were actually with them, uh, following their timings. That means waking up at three forty-five a.m., being ready at three forty-five, and sundown at four o'clock, and in bed like at seven thirty-eight maximum. So I mean, I obviously went to bed a little later because I had to train, go and work out and stuff, and I'm slow yeah. when anything so. It takes me time. Mm. 
when uh, when we spoke to them sorry i'm i have digressed but the point i'm trying to make is that they uh when we spoke to them about how they are no- on normal days is different and whenever there's um, you know any kind of threat or they have to go and fight uh they said that you know we call our spouses or uh, whoever's at home uh, we say that you know, mm-hmm. see you uh, or not like in the sense that today could be the day that then they have to do that because everyone has to be ready for everything and to mm-hmm. get up in the morning and know that you're going to do that and you might not come back it's like any normal person would be like chal okay bye i'll see you bye hmm. i'm leaving <laughs> ah, <that's, yeah. laughs> but these guys are just amazing man so yeah uh, for them to say and appreciate the film like that was like awesome for us and uh, yeah. we we walked into the the uh, pvr uh, theater um, all of us uh, with take and anil sir and akshay and I, uh, right after the film ended and it was so nice to see so much love on people's faces and so nice to know that everyone is so patriotic i mean the first thing they said when they looked at us and they saw us coming there they were like they give a like a, hey wo are nahi wo nahi oh what are you here so <laughs> it's like when they realized that it's us and the first thing that the lot of people in the front they said there was they said jai hind wow they said mm-hmm. jai hind i was like why wow, i matlab this is amazing I have to kind of be able to do what we do and have that kind of uh, feeling coming out of the people who have seen it is wow that's amazing like kind of my next question for you would be let's uh, circle back to what exactly happened at the air base uh, did yeah. you guys get a chance to see sukhoi up close and since you guys were wearing the uniform it comes with yeah. some sort of sensibility and responsibility you know how difficult was it to instantly feel that sense when you are in their uniform standing in front of the officers all those salutes and all of that charisma that these officers hold how difficult was that there was nothing uh, instant about it man it, everything every movement every uh, part of the uniform that we wear came with a lot of thought and uh, to be you know kind of lucky enough for or to be privileged enough to wear the uniform even though you're not serving in the air force as a i actually have my uniform uh wow. i took it with me yeah because uh, i said I'll, i'll use it in fighter tour <laughs> <laughs> i'm saying it. this is like it was my uniform and I, i wouldn't want to give it away in mom time so that's a very nice and they didn't want to uh, say no to me because they didn't want me to cry or something So, <laughs> so you are I actually Sartaj. Karan, you are actually Sartaj. I should be calling I mean, you Sartaj for the rest of the interview only. I mean, there was this one time where where uh, Ritik actually when we sh- remember the scene where we're in the kitchen when he's washing the dishes and we get to call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right before that, we're having all having lunch while um, his dad uh, is talking to uh, Deepika, uh, to Mini, and. <laughs> he looked at me and he said hey sudar i i understand now it's not it's not good acting it's good casting i get it i get it <laughs> <laughs> so basically he's trying to say that yeah this guy is like that only that's why it okay so i was like hmm, whatever you know and there is this scene where we all felt you know dono ab chale gaye because when the body of akshay came Yeah. You know, after that, when we didn't I receive saw. your body, and it was like, where is where is Taj? Where is Taj? Is he still alive? What happened to him? Because you know, all the stories. Since uh, since I'm an anchor on the channel, also we read some kind of stories on the daily basis. We listen about all the fights that goes on on the borders. It was very difficult to you know see that scene when the body of Bash came out, and then there was no traces of what is going to happen to Taj. And then we see, then we. get the poem back that you know tirange se behtar koi kafan nahi hota i gave it gave us goosebumps i saw people yeah. crying in the theaters i was like yes yeah, awesome. because you are you are funny as i can see you are witty also aise ho aap in naturally bhi aap taaj jaise hi ho to get that emotion 
and to get into that scene how did you prepare yourself for that i mean there's no way i could have prepared for it i mean it's like uh, i i knew the script and i've done the scenes and i finished the film and i was watching it and i was still crying so uh, the pastor sitting right next to me and she was crying and oh. my my friend uh, ayaz uh, who played dr shubankar in dmg he was sitting next to me and he was crying so we were like and all we were not pretending but at least both of us were pretending to each other that we are not crying so he would give me a tissue and i would give him a tissue I was like shut up man stop it so <laughs> but okay. like to imagine the pain and the torment of a human being being tortured uh, and them being knowingly getting into something where they know this could happen firstly man is like respect to all of them and you can't yeah, it's it's uh, unimaginable the kind of torment the family of such soldiers would go through and for two pilots uh, together who are always together and one is gone like in front of your eyes it's like uh, it's i mean for for me if i was i mean death would be better like, i mean yeah. to be living through that is more difficult and if you were to talk about the thing that made us all dance was dil khul gaye ab main kya bolu i saw your dance dil khul gaye shere khul gaye shere ha shere khul gaye and the choreographer team and the guy who was the my teacher who was kind of assigned to me jack lama he is a very patient person because he taught me so so he, i was like why are you doing this to us i mean we have rithik in the film so why why are we dancing for what reason what what is the meaning of it like you have this guy and uh, everyone like we want to just stop and watch him dance so why are we dancing next to him and it's so it was like every word had a step yeah every word had a step i was like that's not how it works uh, <coughs> i know i've done this before this is not how it works you can't have like a hard word me step yeah pagal hai hum log baaki log ka kya karega hum log wo aayega he'll just kind of make everything whatever he does look so amazingly beautiful being a man he'll just come in like a walking talking wave and he'll be like wow everyone's like huh <laughs> what 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 is that <laughs> and you keep practicing the step and make it perfect just the way the choreographers and uh, and the dancers taught you and then he'll come and he'll do something different mm-hmm. and it's so much better and then you're like what's the point <laughs> why why do we do this to ourselves but <laughs> it, it was difficult i mean there's a lot of work in that and uh, it's like also you, i mean you know it's you're dancing next to him so anyway it's not like they're making you dance next to him but so that he looks very good he on anyway he's going to look very good this is making you dance next to him. maybe shad you'll also look nice uh, while dancing so aur ek mein tmi i want to share it that's my feeling that's my personal feeling huh? akshay is a very good dancer so there's not a problem for him because uh, no so you did a pretty good job okay aisa laga nahi tha that you are struggling with the dancing thank you very much i was very good you, you all blended really well in that scene thank you so, thank you it's got a good you. editing it was good no it was not <laughs> editing i know you you did really oh. well you give that you have to i mean you have to i mean there's no way if he works <laughs> up he, he works really hard and if he works him in puts in 100% that means somebody like me has put in 200% so that's it what question normal i want to share a tmi just because wo dil khul gaye maine kara because i had dil mil gaye in my mind going on 
when i was in school when i used to watch that uh, my ringtone was hum to chale the dost ban ke chale kaha ke yep wow very nice that was the end of segment 1 karan my second segment is a quick rapid fire round for you i have a couple of questions let's quickly dive into that i suck at rapid fire by the way <laughs> i have a, i have vocal idea i i have seen your previous interviews don't worry i know you're pretty good at it i have just that was very good anything also <laughs> okay okay this is this favorite is. movie that you have worked in so far fighter hmm dream role that you would love to play uh superman or wolverine best on set memory so far i think best on set memories is running down the road and while the super is taking off next to you it's uh, that's multi dimensional that feeling wow one thing fans might not know about you uh i can move my ears oh wow <laughs> so there's you know i could have taken this opportunity and said so many things nice about myself but no i have to move my ears now you can you tell us something uh, any of your hidden talents i can move my ears That, no. Okay, but you are a great artist. I can see your artwork behind you also. Yeah, that's definitely. That Thank that's, you. That's pretty cool. I, Thank you. Most so much. challenging work role that you have taken up so far. Um, I used to think it was it was Asad from uh, Kuhule, but uh, in hindsight now I know it's Taj because. With Taj, I had there was a lot of unlearning that I had to do lots. Okay, is Karan a good father or a good husband? How can I say that? You'll have to speak to my wife or my daughter. <laughs> But according to you, I I don't know. I mean, I I I spend my life <laughs> every day trying Let's to be better. Let's keep it both. Let's go with both. No, I I'm okay. I mean, I, I'm average. in both places <laughs> very modest <laughs> okay no really uh, so much give us some scoop on is there any project coming up are you working on something yes yes and i think probably hopefully we we'll talk about that soon also yes uh, let's let's make whenever the project yeah. is out when you announce it soon very soon <laughs> last but not the least Is there any superstition that you believe in before stepping out of your house before starting your shooting anything So um this also again one thing that people might not know about me I'm I'm extremely uh, ritualistic so I I don't have any superstition as such but uh, like there are my day always starts with a certain thing and uh, i always wake up and i say the hanuman chalisa and wow. i always do my training and then always do my meditation and then always do puja before i leave home which means that i light the incense and i bajao the ganti and the shank so that everything around us is nice uh so these are things that i do before stepping out of the house and never leave the house without kissing uh, the pasha and Devi, uh, whether they're sleeping or not. So that's uh, that. That's it. I mean, um, those are the most important things. Everything else is secondary. Really cute, Karan. Thank you so much for talking to CNN News 18. And again, congratulations for entering 250 Club. Just seven day in, and 250 Club has been crossed. More success to come. Let the fighter fight on the screens and yeah, yeah. see all the success is possible this year. All the best to you for the future project. Thank you project. so much. Thank you. God bless you. So sweet, man. Thank you so much. See you. Bye. Bye.